he's on. He's running around somewhere with his, uh, he made a mage. If you ever decide to take this up, don't kid yourself, just make a mage. You have lofty ideals about swinging swords and shooting bows. Just forget about it when you first start playing. Just make a mage. <laughs> it's by far the most powerful class. It requires the least amount of equipment. You don't have to do a lot of tinkering. At least not early on. Eventually you will, but not early on. I'm going to Yarak, and from Yarak, I'll go to Holberg. Yarak's over here. Yeah, by far. And then even at higher levels, uh, you don't need rending weapons because you got Volant. Uh, I mean, rending wands and stuff like that help, of course. Not, nobody's denying that. But they're not required. Oh uh, yeah, go arrow. It's great. It's uh, it's got the uh, little arrow thing right here in the middle, uh, but then it also has this uh, little sub menu thing that you can pop open. So you have like a Dareth map with all your waypoints and towns and portals and everything on it. Um, when you go into a dungeon, it'll have a dungeon map. It pulls a dungeon map in. Um, yeah, there, there's a Verindi version also. Uh, if you, if you have the uh, Verindi tools, uh, there's a Verindi Go Arrow. Yeah. So if you use Verindi, you can use that. And then it's got the arrow on and off thing right here, and then your settings panel. All right here. Makes it nice. It does cause a little bit of uh, chop, though. I mean, not that AC it in itself isn't just choppy as hell, but... Okay, here we go. A rat's nest. That's going to be a quick in and out. Save you a lot of time and hassle. You just plug in the coordinates and then the arrow just points you in the right direction. Tells you how far you have to go. Stupid rats. This is uh, what's well, a rat's nest outside Holberg. Just poke around, see what we can find. It, it's they're all going to be easy dungeons, I think, for the most part. All right, now where are we going? Should take us right back. Yep, went in a full circle. So then we go down. So that's the exit portal. Yep, connecting door. Now we'll go over here first. Rats have a long death animation. So it takes switching targets takes forever. Ooh. Desert rat. Just poking around. A lot of these dungeons I've never been to, so. Alright, now we'll go through the divider door. Just 
just uh, documenting dungeons. Black rat. Cool thing about Asheron's Call is even when you kill these crappy little creatures that are just way below your level, you still get like a couple points of XP. Oh, 6,000 bucks for that. I'll take it. Room chest. Please do on, on V tank because I have no idea how that works. I use a um, life tank just because it's easier to set up. I just use it for buffing. That's all. I don't I don't do any macroing or anything. Just for buffing. Level two. Oh, they uh tweaked um. I guess you know that from the Discord. Um, salvaging. Increase the rates. See, now why can't the rest of the rats be cool like these guys? I'm just looking around. I don't want to kill anybody. We're all friends here. Yeah, no. He can keep killing the same stupid Drudge Prowler over and over again, right up through level 126. It'll just take forever. <laughs> I think I've pretty much covered it all. Yeah, there's not much to it. Yeah, yeah, it really is. That uh, that fix is really nice too. So I don't have to screw around with uh. Shit, I should have hit the lifestyle when I was in town. Now I have to run back. No, this is Soul C. Sebus, how's it going? EverQuest every Friday and Saturday. In theory. Uh, everybody's going back to the classes now, so. Okay, that was the whole dungeon.